During the rebellion, led by Yuki, men died in countless numbers, mown down like fields of hemp. At this time, a peasant by the name of Li Huarang was trying to find his way home through the hills when he came across a detachment of government troops on a night march. Afraid of being rounded up indiscriminately as a bandit, and seeing nowhere to hide, he lay down in a heap of decapitated corpses, pretending to be dead himself, and staying there until long after the troops had passed. Then suddenly he saw the corpses, for the most part headless and armless, stand up in serried ranks like trees in a forest. One among them, his head still dangling from his shoulders, gasped, The wild dog is coming, we are done for! The others answered in ragged chorus, Done for! Done for! The next instant, they all tumbled down again and lay there in motionless silence. Lee was about to rise to his feet, trembling with fear though he was, when he saw a creature coming towards him, with the head of an animal and the body of a man. As the wild dog came nearer, it bent down, sank its teeth into one after another of the heads and sucked out their brains. In terror, Lee buried his own head under the nearest corpse. The monster tugged at Lee's shoulders to get at his head, but Lee burrowed down further still and succeeded for a while in staying out of its reach, until finally the monster pushed the corpse aside, thus exposing Lee's head. The terrified Lee, groping around desperately on the ground beneath him, grabbed hold of a big stone the size of a bowl and clutched it tightly in his hand. As the creature bent down to bite into him, he heaved himself up with a great cry and smashed the stone into its mouth. The thing made an odd hooting noise like an owl and ran off clutching its face and spitting mouthfuls of blood onto the road. In the blood, we, we discovered, when he looked more closely, two fangs, curved and tapering to a sharp point, each over four inches long. He took them home with him to show his friends, none of whom have had any idea what sort of strange beast it might have been.